Well, hello everyone, Billy here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Coruscant Guard gunship that has now been released. So on the front of the large box here, we which have the LEGO Star Wars logos, and also that neat border that we've been seeing since last year, and of course, Clone Wars style version of it. And then picture of the set in action, flying through Coruscant, and also the five mini things included. And recommended ages is 9 and up. Set number 75354 has 1,083 pieces. And then flip to the back of the box. You see it on a resting position on some landing pad of it. And, and then all the features of it. And also another OS there. And logos again. And that. And now on to the instruction manual, which kind of plain rendering like they like to do on manuals nowadays. And then transition from plastic bags to paper bags and also the builder app. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. And then all the pieces that come with the set. And then add for both it and the three Ahsoka Tano sets, which I expect a review of that quite soon and also whenever I can get and whenever I receive that. But yeah. And then final building steps of that. First up, we have first time ever included Clone Commander Fox. So, yeah. And he was quite well done. I see, like, the uh, leg printing quite good, and however, the torso printing kind of quite good, but also questionable for that. Uh, the top armor part is kind of a odd pink, whitish pink kind of color, but even though in the show, usually the top part is completely white and the lower part is red. To which, why not have that in red, which would be a lot better, but yeah. Which, maybe if there gets to be an updated version of him, I expect that. But as for his helmet piece, which, same visor as we've been seeing since like 2008 or so. But however, the helmet piece, which... Nice to see the new Phase 2 clone helmet piece, but in red. And they all the printing on it looks great for that. Okay, although, it would have been nice to see this visor done in red as well, but whatever. And, also, and of course, wielding the classic clone blasters as well. And also, as for the face printing, which is the same exact print. Uh, Face print that we well, which is also on the uh, two shock troopers, but this same as we've been seeing since 2020. But yeah, but at least not the usual angry clone face, but yeah. And then moving along, yeah, which have two uh, Coruscant guard troopers, There's, which their torso print and leg printing all looks good, and helmet piece, which is kind of similar to the recent 501st and 186 troopers, but. But at least has the nice red printing like we've seen back in 2014. But however, and of course, the dinky helmet holes, and of course the helmet holes, just that we've been, like we've been seeing lately. But however, everything about them looks good for that. And then last, and then next to which we have a uh, Clone Wars Padme Amidala. Uh, which first time we've seen since like 2012, but without the odd Clone Wars style of eyes, of course. But however, her face print was kind of similar to that of, not sure if this is reused from like Rey from the sequel trilogy or whatever, but yeah. But however, the torso printing looks really good for that. 
and, and also not only like printing for that and of course wielding a silver small blaster there of course and our hair piece same as it's been for a long time of course and then last but not least is we which have Chancellor Palpatine which also first time included in a set since like 2009 so both he and and Pathy finally re reoccurring in a set since for like over a decade but yeah but however his torso printing and also a uh, skirt kind of printing all looks really great for that and the face printing done quite good for that and also Good use of this hairpiece in darkish blonde, of course. And as for the back side of both of all of them, see all of which do have some good back torso printings on each of them. And although Commander Fox, of which is his back torso printing, kind of like the Shock Troopers ones, but reverse color scheme, but yeah. And of course, whereas for Padme and Sidious, also do have some double side faces for that. So for this minifig selection as a whole, it's quite a good selection for how it is, but I don't see anything wrong with that, but yeah. And now on to the Coruscant Guard gunship itself, which from first glance so look at which kind of similar to that, although looking kind of bit like we had with most previous gunships. Well, proper shaping, but a few slight mods to it. Although the some bits of it kind of similar to that of the 2013 gunship, but at least so it's kind of like they just modify it slightly and sell it as this one, but at least has some bits that are that make it not so repetitive. But yeah. And of course, nice to see some bit of variety within the previous gunships. But yeah. <clears throat> so now, as for this front part, which which is kind of similar to that of previous gunships, as far as on these rotating ball turrets that have um, artificial blasters on them. And which kind of wiggle on in and outwards, but unlike the other two, it doesn't quite as easily, which of which good for that. And of course you have extra little bit on there for that. But as for this and then side point for which do you have this little extra compartment that you can fold up and have a bit of uh, standing space for troopers and things. Let's switch it. More of that I'll mention later, but yeah. And also, a nice little thing that, uh, which wasn't present on previous gunships, is this use of corner plates and that dish piece of it. So that, I find, really good. I say, good use to be not so repetitive. And also, a large tile piece with a large sticker that has the Republic symbol on it. But, however, there's very few stickers in this set, of which good. But also for this upper section, uh, which has the two cockpits, of which, and of course, there's these, and also the two canopy pieces, but in clear, which, not like we, kind of, although the rest of which kind of similar to what we had with previous gunships, and of course can like flip open and uh, fit a trooper into like so, and fits over it really well. Oh, also to mention is in both cockpits do have a printed uh, tile piece for a control panel of course and also stickers on cheat slopes which kind of odd how that is but yeah. and then on the far part of it you also do have carrying hand oh, which, can, which can even stand up and also squeeze it around yeah. So just like the 2013 gunship, of course, but nice to see that still going on. But yeah. 
but as for this back section, which of course I was done with like a lot of the like quarter plates and also corner tile pieces or triangular tile pieces and also a whole lot of the like uh, clear or translucent black of uh, what's it called uh, tile pieces this is on there and of course and also this little technique being back here which you can pull up and just like the other versions it shows the open to the large interior space and like the previous gunships it's just a whole lot of tiling surfaces just very few studs to which which what I think would be much better is for there to be completely studded surface so you can fit a whole ton of troopers in and not worry about them falling off, plopping around and stuff. Because for take example this trooper. Oh whoops. So you can uh, do that and then close right over it nicely. But say if you have a whole bunch of them then they might then they're just not attached on anything. See, like that. But it's kind of a minor thing, but not so much of a big deal, but maybe kind of is, but yeah. But although this door part, which if you notice in the show, this particular gunship, which has doors that open up in like both ways, but this which is in one way, like the previous gunships, but although you could like modify this set and have those two doors if you wanted, but yeah, I think they should have done that, but yeah. But as for this upper part, which as you see, have these large cylinder pieces, like from the 2021 X Wing, and also some odd curb sloping slope pieces on there. And which goes out to another pair of those kind of pieces there, and down to a pair of astromech droid heads. So that has extra bits to it. And onto the wings, which, as you see, does have some nice, nice use of these kind of horror plate pieces as greebling, and also a gold bar piece in white. Nice to see there. And then have a few uh, curved slopes, two in white, one in light gray, and of course the interesting corner slopes. It's nice to see uh, returning from the previous ones, but at least in a smaller size, but yeah. And then further down, a little bit of refilling, and also, also has a pair of stud shooters that you can launch off like so, and also a little bit of like jagged slopes on there, and so it, rather than like uh, extra cockpits that the previous versions had, and uh, underneath both wings, do you have some this like interesting underneath tile kind of piece where without any reverse studs underneath? Nice to see that piece there. Not sure if it was used in sets previously, but nice to see here, and of course does have a bit of a snot going on with those slopes around, but yeah. And onto the top part of the gunship, which as you see just has a pair of tiles and also a corner plate with some extra bit in there. Not sure what for, but whatever. And on to the back side of the gunship with some more jagged sloping like in the front part of it and also a little bit of a clipped on uh, plate with the grill pieces on it and also and like the previous ones does have a, a torrent kind of build to it but instead of a construction ball joint technic ball joint instead of a mixel ball joint so kind of a good uh, change of pace for that and also a couple little cabinet areas where you can store extra studs for the stud shooters into a course and also extra clone gear as well and as for this bottom section 
and then also in the far back part, which does have a bunch of plates and corner or a bunch of tiles and corner tiles, but one of which has a little Republic sticker on there. And for that, and of course, you can lower it down and, and of course, enough space to like fit a speeder bike into like the 2008 version. And I think also 2013 ones that also did. But although that would ruin the amount of room for your uh, clone troopers in there. But yeah. Uh, hold on, let me take this out. <clears throat> and now, time for comparison between this and our last gunship, the 2013 one. Which, as you can see, from first glance, it which kind of downside get old kind of downscaled from it, and since of course we've been seeing that trend since 2021 with the X-Wing and TIE Fighter and so on, but however, and of course this one which mostly white and a little dark red and a little bit green in front, but this which dark red and white, which kind of, even though the previous two gunships were also like this color scheme, but at least good to see a good change of pace there since there's also the Milas 10 one, Plo Bros, those and so on but and whatever but also all the features of which are quite the same like the upward canopy doors well at least this this which had extra uh, uh, foot fire missiles in it but this which doesn't have that and of course Cockpits of which do function quite the same way. And also the uh, top parts of which is kind of similar to that, but also nice to not see any uh, foot fire missiles on this one, so even though foot fire, because it was 2013 and foot fire missiles were the main uh, feature at the time. And, uh, and, you, and you'll probably wonder, how shouldn't there be a little cockpit kind of part on this gunship? Well, no, this which is just how it properly is. It's just different types of ones. So, and of course, does not have the ball turrets that come outwards, of course. And you wonder, and of course, the main difference is with this version, like the doors don't open up all the way. Well, this kind of gunship it doesn't go into space. But however, in some episodes of the Clone Wars, this one does do so. So this one, its doors do close up all the way. So at least they got some stuff right on this one. And as for on the back sides of both, as for their gun turrets, is once again kind of on a Technic type ball joint connection, and this one a Mixel joint connection. Oh, which good change of pace there again. And that's a little speeder bike that this 2013 one had. But this one just doesn't. Unless if you used one of your own speeder bikes, but whatever. I guess that's about it with the comparison. So now, on to the final verdict. So for my overall verdict, I think this is which a really good set. Or quite good, quite cool good set. Like, of course, which may be a Republic gunship first time in a decade. And, uh, and of course, but also a little different than previous gunships. Like, obviously, in dark red, solid dark red and such. And, of course, a, like pure Clone Wars one, unlike the 2008 one, which was just another regular gunship, of course. And also good to see some bits that weren't on the previous ones, but as for the price for piece of which, which is quite good for how it is, like like this for 140 which almost is kind of similar to the 2013 
uh, price point in the, the previous one, but 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 of course different standards back in 2013. But at least this switch kind of a good change of pace for it. But yeah, and as for the main fix selection, great to, to see uh, Palpatine and uh, also Padme finally appear reappear in sets it's in a long time, and also the Coruscant guards guard troopers also first time included in so long and commander Fo Ca commander fox which also great to see here although he could have been should have been a lot better but yeah maybe they'll do that down fix him down the line but yeah and as for the building techniques of this then still wish that the doors were two-way doors but although you could add that on if you wanted but yeah And so now, and so, and so if you're looking to get this set for your clone armies, which definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your Star Wars and, and Star Wars Clone Wars collections, or Star Wars Clone Wars collection, then definitely pick this up. And if, and again, if you have the money and are looking to get a gunship for your collection, also definitely pick it up. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.